Hey everyone. Um, hope you guys are all having a great weekend. Um, just want to make a short video on something that's been freaking me out. Well, not freaking me out, but kind of concerning to me. Uh, I've been thinking about it. And uh, <clears throat> so I have the Prime 189, um, Prime 1 slash Blitzway 89, Keaton Batman third scale on pre order. Um, I'm more excited for this statue than any other statue I ever got. Um, but I'm real concerned because <clears throat> the Prime 1 slash Blitzway um, 2022, the Batman statue, uh, Robert Pattinson, when that came out, all the ears were bent. And I know everyone who has that piece is saying it's no big deal. You know, they're straightening them out. It's like they're like straightening out themselves and stuff, which I don't believe. I don't think that's happening. But, uh, you know, and if it's no big deal to them, then that's fine. You know, it's, it's you know, it's their money. It doesn't, you know, if it doesn't bother them, it doesn't bother them. But it was one of the reasons why I ended up going with Queen Studios instead. Um, plus, so anyways, point is, those ears are really short on that cowl. And for me, I think the ears on any Batman suit or any Batman cowl really, it's a big deal. Like the shape of them is exact, you know, every single cowl, is, all the ears on each cowl is different. And the shape of it is very important to me. Like that, that shapes the whole cowl to me. You know what I mean? It's like, anyway, so the ears on, Robert Pattinson suit is fairly short. And if you can see here in this photo here, you can see how bent they're coming out. This is this is just uh, Chris the Batman statue collector. I, I just took a photo off of his review uh, video. But I've seen these, every single review I've seen of this, they're all super bent and everyone's acting like it's no big deal. Um, to me, it's a huge deal. It changes the entire look like it completely changes the entire look. Like if it's like the ears are supposed to be not even they're not even supposed to be perfectly straight up. They're actually ever so slightly supposed to tilt outwards just a little bit and be perfectly straight. And they're all coming out completely turned in like this, like devil horns. And to me, it changes the entire look. Like like that is just that is so bad to me. And for the amount of money that we're we're spending almost two grand on these pieces. And the reason you get third scale is because of the greater detail and the greater movie accuracy, um, especially on these movie pieces. And for the ears to come like that, it destroys the entire it destroys the entire statue, in my opinion. Um, other people don't care. That's fine. It's perfectly fine. In my opinion, if I'm spending almost two grand on a statue, the ears better not come like this. Um, and that is a problem with these Blitzway Prime 1 pieces is that the head sculpts are made out of a PVC plastic. And I don't, I don't like that to begin with. Like the reason why I'm buying statues and not hot toys is because I don't like the plastic. You know, I want, so I want resin, I want rock, I want heavy, I want, you know, uh, something that's going to last a, a very long time as well. And these are just third scale hot, they're turning into third scale hot toys now, in my opinion. But anyways, I digress. Um, but, but this is, this is a, this is a huge problem because now I didn't pick, this was originally, I was originally going to get this prime one piece. I ended up going with Queen Studios because their head sculpt, I think is way more accurate, way more movie accurate. It looks more like Robert Pattinson, in my opinion. And the the cowl is a the cowl. I'll, I'll see if I can get a picture up on this. I'm in my email right now. Anyways, the cowl is straight out of the movie. Like to me, this looks way too plasticky. Um. Anyways, and the ears are perfect on the Queen Studio. And guess what? They're not going to move or bend because it's not plastic. Um. But anyways, the point of the point of this rant is. I'm terrified now that if these tiny ears bend like this on this statue, how are they going to bend on the 89 Keaton where the ears are way longer? And 
So I'm really concerned that when we get that statue, the ears are going to be completely effed up. Um, I just, it, I, I pray that they will, will realize they had an issue with the ears on this one. And they will, when they ship uh, the 89 Batman, that they put some kind of the head in some kind of case that will keep the ears straight the way they're supposed to be. Um, I mean, obviously, there's a slight curve in the 89. But, you know, it's it's a major thing. They have to, get, to get the curve of the ears perfect is, is major in any Batman column, in my opinion. And I really hope they make some kind of case inside the box that will keep them straight. And so this doesn't happen. Um, and, you know, that's the thing with plastic is even if, like, as you're getting it shipped, it's in a super hot container or left out the boxes in the sun or whatever, just heat itself will bend those ears like that. And so it really concerns me. I'm, like, really paranoid now that when we get the 89 Batman, the ears are going to be all jacked up like this one was. And I just really, really hope not, guys. So if anyone out there... <laughs> If anyone out there listening uh, has a way in to Prime 1, like, tell them to please put the head in some kind of case to keep the ears from bending. Oh, that would suck so bad. Um, anyways, yeah, so that was one of the main reasons I didn't end up getting this one. Uh, there's a bunch of reasons, actually, on this piece. I originally thought this was the winner by far when, it, when they first showed it. But as everyone was starting to get this piece in hand... I noticed all the parts of it that I really didn't like at all and that were not movie accurate. And then doing some more research, finding out that the Queen Studio one is way more movie accurate um, and just looks better in my opinion. But uh, Except the base. The base is still shit. Um, but I can, over, I can easily overlook that. I don't really care about the bases so much. Um, I really just care about the figure itself. So, so for me, uh, the Queen Studio was the way to go, but... Yeah, please, please do not let this happen to the 89 Batman. Please put a case around the head to protect the ears, <laughs> to keep their form. Um, so that's my rant on that. One other thing I wanted to touch on was I've really been thinking about... So I have the Prime 1 Batman Forever Panther suit statue. I don't know if you can see it, but it's back there. And I love it. I also was thinking about getting the Sonar suit. And when I saw the reviews, they were all coming like this on the left here, this picture on the left. They were all coming. The colors were not right at all. Like it's super too light and white and just weird. So I saw a couple of reviews like that. Well, now a new review just popped up. And I, and I apologize. I don't remember what, what YouTubers these are from and everything. But, um, but a new video just popped up. And it shows the color correct. Um, so you can see the difference here of the picture on the right and picture on the left. Picture on the left is an old review, not old, old but you know, a month ago, whatever, um, of the of the statue. And then the exact same statue, another reviewer just popped up a couple days ago, and the colors are completely different, like completely different. So the one on the right looks completely accurate to me. Movie accurate, and on and on the one on the left is it's not even close. So I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what did they fix. Did they, you know, was were the couple of the ones that I saw with the wrong colors? Was that a one off? Was that like a you know a mistake that got? I don't know. I don't know. Or did they go back and see that they were coming out wrong and they refix and they fix them before they? continue shipping the rest of them i have no idea guys but this is clearly two different colors this is not lighting this is not this is two completely different paint jobs 100 percent. so i just don't know like i want to get this but i don't know which one i don't know what what paint job i'm going to end up getting <laughs> right so um, now, these ones look a little bit closer together. Um, you can still tell that the right one's darker, though. But in these shots, there's no way that's just lighting. There's no way that can be just lighting. Uh-uh. I'm not buying it. There's no way. That is two different, completely different paint jobs. 
And if I order this and I get the one on the right, I'll be thrilled. But what if I get the one on the left? Um, yeah, it's weird. It's weird. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Um, and I know it's going to sell out before I make my decision. There's one place that has it still. I don't know, guys. That's to me, that's two different paint jobs. There's no way that's the same paint job. So I don't know what's going on with that. Anyways, guys, that's my rant. Um, please come, let, let, let's, the 89 Batman, please, please come, per, like, with the ears the way they're supposed to be and not like this crazy mess right here. Um, you know, you're spending $2,000 on a statue. I, I don't want to have to heat my ears and try to straighten them after spending two grand on a stat. Like, it's crazy to me. It's insane to me. Just go back to resin. Go back to resin. You know, these companies are making the sculpts. Look, this is resin. It looks exactly like uh, uh, Val Kilmer. You don't need, I don't know why they're doing this out of plastic. Um, well, obviously it's got to be cheaper. The only, every time they change something, it's for cost, right? They're doing it to change, you know, to save money. So, I don't know. But, um, I don't know why they can't partner up with Blitzway because Blitzway makes amazing, amazing sculpts. Um, they make movie accurate, you know, that AK Kim, uh, uh, girl, she's a She is the best and she makes the most amazing sculpts. But I don't know why they can't have her sculpt it and make it in resin. Why does it have to be plastic? Um, I don't know. It just it bothers me. But there's other statue companies making the same great sculpts still in resin. Um, so I don't know. I uh, could be talking about that, talking about my ass, guys. But I'm just paranoid that we're not gonna we're gonna get the same ear problem. It's gonna be even worse because the ears are so much bigger on the, the 89 version. So, and what's going on with this forever statue? Damn it. I want the statue, but I don't want the one on the left. I want the one on the right. And how do you know which one you're going to get now? Because I don't know. It just doesn't make sense to me, guys. So, if you guys have any insight on the statue, uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know. And uh, that's my rant for, for, the, for the day, guys. Um, hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Happy Easter. And uh, I'll catch up with you guys later. All right, see ya.